Hello and thanks for watching this series of Acumatica 2020 R1 videos of new features. So in this video we're going to talk about Acumatica's new functionality in batch and wave picking. So you can see on my screen right now I have a bunch of open orders. So the first thing we do with our open orders, and this hasn't changed, is we get them into the shipment document form. So to do that we go into sales orders and we go to process orders leave the sales order screen up there and we go to create shipments and we'll create all the shipments that we want now typically this screen is something you could schedule you could schedule it and filter based on delivery methods and that kind of thing you can also filter based on shipment date so for example if you have sales orders where the customer says I need it next month I need it in six months I need it in this season then Acumatica will honor those dates on the sales order on the line items. So in each sales order, let's take a look at that really quick. So not only does the sales order have a requested date, which Acumatica will honor before creating the shipment, releasing it to the warehouse, but it also has a requested date on the line item. So if you have maybe 10 items, 10 line items on here, and five of them are required immediately, but five of them are required in six months, Acumatica will create a shipment for only the items that the requested date honors. So let's go back. So we'll select a few of these orders and we'll turn them into shipments. Let's uh, do a little variety here. And we'll process. And setting aside a few of the errors or warnings, we probably didn't have enough inventory. I'm going to close this. And now the next step we would normally do is we would go to sales orders and we go to process shipments and we would print our pick list. So we would go through and print all of our pick lists. And what this would do is it would go out and print individual pick lists for each and every shipment. Now, the challenge with that is if you have a big warehouse or if you have a high volume of shipments. So if we go to sales orders and we create and print our pick lists. So now we bring up this screen and we have a few actions. The first one is create and print wave pick list and the other one is create and print batch pick list to get started. Now wave allows you to go through your warehouse with a single pick list in a mapped order so that you're nice and efficient. You can walk through the warehouse, pick out the items and put them in a cart and bring them back with their packing slips to an area so that shipping can put them in boxes and get them out the door. That's the wave pick. Batch, on the other hand, allows you to do the same. It allows you to pick all the items. It allows you to put them in carts and in totes. But then you can bring them back to your shipping area for processing them. So the batch pick allows you to get everything together and bring it over to a centralized area for sorting. You would sort it by customer shipment. Whereas the wave pick, you're sorting it on the fly. But both options make things a lot faster than having individual pick lists because now everything is summarized so that if you need, for example, three Acer laptops for three different shipments, the pick list is going to tell you that so that you only have to go to the Acer laptop bin once. So let's go in and let's create a wave pick list. We'll select our warehouse. And now what you can see is the shipments. So the shipments show up here. We can sort and filter this any way we want by using the column headers, but we can also sort and filter based on different things such as the start and ending dates. We can filter by customer if we need to or carrier delivery method, whether or not we're packaging based on auto or manual. That might be a consideration when we get all the items together for using auto packaging. We can filter by a certain inventory item. So maybe there's an item that's really, really popular. It's on sale now. And we want to go out and pick those particular items and get those items out the door. That's possible as well. 
We can filter certain location lists. We can add different location lists to this pick if we want to. We can also define based on the max number of lines in a shipment. So for example, maybe I only want to pick orders that have one line item or two line items. I can limit that here. And I could also limit the quantity. Maybe for efficiency sake, my picker, we don't want the picker to have to handle more than five quantities in a line at a time. So we can do that as well. The other big part of this is the maximum number of pickers. So you can assign two or three or five, any number of pickers to this, and Acumatica will distribute the picking process across them. And you can also define how many totes can each picker handle right here. So for example, if we pick two pickers here, and we'll leave our max number of lines and quantities alone, we don't have a lot of shipments here to work with for our demonstration. And then we'll process all. So now we've created a wave picking document. We'll close this. And you'll notice we now have a picking worksheet. So this gives us the ability to determine the status of, in this case, a wave worksheet, picking worksheet. And if we take a look at it, you can see a few things. First of all, here are all the items that we're going to be picking and their quantities. You can see what shipments that makes up. You can also see what pickers are assigned. Now, Acumatica isn't going to pick employees. It's going to associate picker numbers. And those picker numbers are going to pick up their sheets and go off on their path. Now, from this screen, we can print our pick lists and our packing slips. Now, in Acumatica, you can automate that so that as soon as you create your picking worksheet, these documents can automatically be printed. So we'll print our pick lists. And you can see what Acumatica has done here. We looked at the worksheet number. The worksheet number was number three, but there's a slash one after it. That indicates that picker one is responsible for these items. So picker one will go off with this sheet and work their way around the warehouse. This has been ordered based on your defined map in the warehouse location settings. And if we turn the page, you can then see the shipment packing slip, which automatically got printed as well for this particular shipment. And if I turn the page again, you're going to see all the different shipments that are part of that particular pick. But then now here's another pick list, pick list two, with those items. And again, the packing slips are attached to it for these shipments, 2659 and 2660. Now, what we'll do is we'll leave this up on the screen. And we'll go into our pick, pack, and ship screen. We'll split this. And we'll take our pick list and we'll scan it. So as you can see, what Acumatica has done is it's brought up this picking worksheet. And the first thing it wants us to do is scan the tote barcode for our first shipment. So we're going to take these items for this particular shipment and put it in a specific tote. Now, the totes you can define under your warehouse settings. So let's take a look at that. Let's jump out and go into our warehouse profile. And we'll go to wholesale. And if we take a look at our totes, we have two different totes associated with this warehouse. We can create as many as we want. So 006, I'll put that in a clipboard. I'll come back here and I'll paste it. Normally you would scan it. And you can see here, Acumatica already has this tote checked out for another shipment. So we can't use it twice. Acumatica is protecting us from intermixing items in the wrong tote. So if we paste this and we use number seven, you can see tote seven is available. And now we're gonna to continue to scan all our totes for the different shipments. So to roll back for a moment, this is wave picking. We are pre-sorting this so that when it gets to the shipping area, it's all set and ready to go. 
So that's why it's asking us to scan the totes for each of the shipments. Each of the totes will have everything we need for those particular shipments. So we don't have any other totes available. So let's go back and let's add some more. And that should be good for now. So now we've scanned both totes to two different shipments. And if we go back to our picking worksheet and turn the page, again, 2656 and 2657. There's two shipments for this particular pick worksheet that we scanned. Now as we start to scan our items, I'll just use the clipboard here to make it happen. Notice these items are serialized, so I'm scanning the item and then the serial number. So now what we're going to do is take all of these items, they're all in individual totes per shipment with a pack slip. So we'll take our shipment number, we'll switch to pack mode, we'll scan our shipment, and now we can put these items into their perspective boxes. Now by default, these particular items auto package, I turn that off for the demonstration because Acumatica was putting them into multiple boxes automatically using the auto packaging feature of Acumatica. So in this case though, what we would do is scan our box. So in this case, maybe it's a medium box, that's the box barcode. And then we would scan our items. So for example, we'll scan this item. We'll scan our serial number or lot. And then we'll set our quantity. And then we can go on and scan our next items. And this is the process of putting every item into the box. Now everything is green. And we could shift over to our ship mode. We have the ability to refresh the rates. And if it can be calculated, Acumatica will pull them down. We have a box weight here of zero pounds. Now, typically what we would do is either use a USB scale where we can put the items on the scale and Acumatica will automatically feed the weight, or we can enter the weight. In this case, though, I'm going to put 10 pounds here and I'll refresh the rates again. And now you can see some of the rates coming in. FedEx ground is $36. I don't have these other ones set up, which is why they're coming up as zero. But we'll select FedEx ground. So we know the delivery method. We know the box everything is going into. I squeezed a lot in this one box. But now we'll confirm the shipment. Now, based on the fact that I would have Device Hub set up, Acumatica's Device Hub comes with Acumatica's advanced WMS, the shipping label will get automatically printed out so that the FedEx delivery driver can scan the label and be on his way. So that takes you through the wave picking process. Now if we take a look at our picking worksheet, you can see it's been updated. So if we open it up, you can see under shipments, we've picked these two. One of them's confirmed. The other one is still open. As you recall, we shipped this particular one, but we didn't go in and ship this one. And you also see these other two are not picked yet because we neglected to pick them from our pick list. We haven't done that yet. So these are still open, but these shipments are out there waiting, and you can see the different statuses under the picking worksheets. So Acumatica is going to consolidate all this information, make it easy for you to organize all of your picking process, all of your shipping process, and the various different statuses. Now while these are on the picking worksheets, and you can see them clearly here, you can also create a generic inquiry to see what's going on in the warehouse, who's doing what, maybe even get a dashboard up there for picking performance and shipping performance. So now what we'll do is we'll go back and we'll create another pick list. But this time we're going to create a batch pick list. 
choose our warehouse. In this case, it's going to be a retail. We'll select a few shipments and process them. Now we have a new picking worksheet. We'll open it up to our picking worksheets here. And you can see this is a type batch. It's open, ready to go. We'll print our pick list. And now what you can see is a pick list number. But in this case, you have all these items and you have no pack slip because all of these items will be brought to a sorting location, in which case, after we sort it, we'll then print our packing slip and then our label ultimately. So let's make this small. Let's take our pick list number, put it in the clipboard, and we'll scan it. We'll select our items, set the quantities. Now when we confirm our pick list, Acumatica wants to know what is the sorting location. So in Acumatica we have different locations. So under our warehouse called retail, that's the one we're using here, there's different locations and you set these locations up. Now one of the new features here is this sort location. And the reason for a sort location is you don't want to have different pickers dumping items into a location that maybe has already started to be sorted. So this gives us the ability to put items into different locations. Now notice this column here is the sort location. So for example, we could create a sort one and we'll tell the system that we'll be sorting in that location. Now that all our picked items are in their sort location, we would then be in pack mode of which our packer would have all the packing slips and they would start sorting the items to the pack. So if we go over to our picking worksheet, we have the ability to print the pack slips from here. Now based on your automated process with the Acumatica device hub, you may have these print out automatically. But typically, we'll now print the pack slips for this worksheet, which is multiple pages. These pages would be in the sorting location. So I'll print these out. I'll scan these shipment numbers one at a time. And then I'll start scanning the items I need against the pack. So for example, if I go to the list of items that we originally picked, and I take that shipment number, this is the packing slip that will be associated with all those items. I'll take all these items, I'll sort them on my sorting location, and then I'll start to pack them by scanning that shipment number in. And now I can continue to scan these items. First I'll scan my box, and then I'll continue scanning each item, putting it into this box until I need to scan another box and continue and continue. So we've taken these items from the sorting location, we've sorted them against our pack slip, we've scanned our box and continued to put the items in and then scanned another box and the additional items until we were done putting items into boxes. And then we would go into our ship mode and complete the process and pick our carrier. So there's a summary of the batch and wave picking new to Acumatica 2020 R1. If you have any questions or you need your own demonstration, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to go through it with you in more detail and discover what process works best for you. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.